what's going on youtube all right so i'm not big on youtube and i'm trying to get used to this all right so i'm more of an instagrammer i make videos and I'm, i like to like put some music in there and stuff like that so anyways what i want to talk to you guys about today is like how to build your clientele if let's suppose that you already been uh cutting for a while not not too long let's say about a year right and you're trying to build your clientele but you would like to speed it up a little bit why not who who doesn't want to uh, speed it up? So, you know, let, let's think of this as like a, a little mentor thing, right? A couple of things I, I, I would like to cover is uh, definitely use your social media. You see me using my social media and uh, I've been having a clientele for a very long time. But one of the reasons why I always suggest people to use their social media because who uses books to show the type of haircuts that you could do anymore? Like this is 2022 now and you we got to be up to date right so everybody has social media everybody got a phone so i mean most people have social media use that as your resume use the platforms as your resume so on instagram post your videos post your haircuts um i know booksy has a category where you could put your uh your pictures on there but you could put your booksy or whatever it is you use to book on your social media as well and a lot more traffic is going to run through there. Another one is um, passing out cards never hurts. You know, passing out your cards. Um, flyers, um, not really. Let's just stick to the business cards. Handing one out after you do a walk-in is always great. And when you sit a new walk-in or a new appointment, you should always give them a survey. Have a list already kind of figured out of how to go about asking your clientele, right? So what you want to do is ask them a series of questions. What I like to ask them first off is how they find me. What did they use to book me? Because I already know they use books. I don't, I don't do anything else besides books. Um, how do they find me on books? A lot of the times is the reviews. Reviews is what, what brings a lot. Uh, another question is um, where did you used to go before? And a lot of the times they have a barber already if not, they're not from out of town. So what happened with that barber? What brings you in today? And a lot of the times it's like the barber, their ex-barber wasn't there how they wanted them to be or just a series of like um, things they didn't like, right? Uh, a lot of it is not being on time, not being consistent because a lot of barbers out there or stylists they cut to how they're feeling so you need to be find a strategy that's going to keep you at rhythm it doesn't matter if the wife lets you somebody cheated on you or broke up with you and all that you're still going to cut the same so being consistent is is major key and the other one that i was talking about was uh being professional right being there on time being clean is a big one too um a series of things that uh, brought that customer to sit in my chair and guess what i'm charging double sometimes i even charge triple but they're so like fed up with a lot of that stuff that they don't even care you know what they're at that point where they're just done with the bs and they want to just like get a, a a nice haircut and cut all that all, all that stuff out so that's why i jack up my price because i know my value but before I got there, I went through I went through everything. Don't don't get me wrong. I started charging $20. Well, oh, but that was back in the day. I started charging five bucks and I was doing free haircuts in the beginning. No lie. Free haircuts. Why? Because nobody knew who I was. Nobody knew what what what, what I was able to do. And honestly, I didn't know either. I, I didn't I didn't really know how to cut hair that well. And I admitted it. So that's another thing is admitting where you're at, admitting your position and what you need to do to get out of that position, but you can't skip steps either. You can't skip any step, all right? If you try to get ahead of yourself, you're just, you're just gonna trip and fall, baby. It's just, uh, those are the rules of life. So don't think that every uh, obstacle and downfall is, is a bad thing either. You need those to build character to get you where you're at. If you're going through these struggles, don't, don't worry about it, it's normal. We all go through them. You can't quit, okay? You, you can't, you, you just can't give up. You already put a lot of effort into this. And let's be honest, who doesn't want to do what they love for a living? 
and make good money out of it, make it a career out of it. Uh, the, the, you just can't stay at the same level. You always got to improve yourself and education is big too. Even in barber school, a lot of those clients, they might stick with you, but most of the time they're not because they're there. Either they want to save money or, or they just don't really care about their haircuts. So little money is better than no money. So you want to stay consistent. Keep it going. Don't stop. Keep the flow on top of that. You get an experience. The more haircuts you do, the, the better you get. Put effort. Put your all into the haircut. And they'll be like, whoa, well, they're charging me. I'm, pay I'm paying. Well, they're paying me uh, $20 for this haircut. So I'm just going to give them $20 worth of effort. No, it doesn't work that way. You give that person a hundred plus dollar haircut. Let me say it again. You give that person the best of your ability. All right. You know why? Not only that, is that going to make you better? But if you provide a higher value than what you're charging, you're going to get there. And then when you rank up that price and be like, you know what, for the holidays or for the weekends, it's going to go up. They, they might, they're going to, more than likely, they're going to be like, damn, like it's rough right now, but he's worth it. He, he's not going to go to the other barbers because you make it worth it. Yeah. It, it, it might not be in his budget, but it's definitely going to be worth it. And that's what's going to happen with most of your clients. When they walk in through the door, you got to greet every single person. And it doesn't matter if it's his client or, or his client over there. It doesn't matter. You greet everybody. You make everybody feel comfortable. Guess what? What's going to happen the day that he's sick or she's sick or, or he's messing up or, or whatever? They're going to hit up the, the person that they feel comfortable, the one that's been talking to them the whole time. And they might not even worry fully about the, the quality. A lot of the time is being comfortable with who cuts your hair. It's, it's a relationship at the end of the day. Sometimes it even lasts longer than your marriage. All right. The, the relationships with a barber go strong and they know things that a lot of people don't know. So that's another one. If it, don't gossip. Don't don't tell your your clients uh, uh, stories and and secrets. Don't do that. Like you keep that shit confidential. Like we're doctors, all right? You you, you never share that, and that and that that creates loyalty. So they're gonna take care of you. You take care of them. That's just how it goes. You you do the best to improve yourself, and they see that. You know, as a barber who's, let's say you're already at the level where um, you're already kind of booked up, you know, and, and you're just working too much. You're just in the shop all day and you don't really see the time of day. You, you, you don't really get to spend it with your family. Like, what do you do? Like, do you work more or, or you pick or you just close the book? Because I see a lot of people that they just, all right, I'm just going to close the book now. And then you got all these people and you'd be like, you missed out. But see, that's where you limit yourself. Don't do that either. Because if you're too booked, that means you're too cheap. So what do you do? If you know it's going to be the holidays and you're going to be busy, you're going to jack the price up. All right. Why? Because it's supply and demand. More people want to get in those slots. Not everybody's going to want to pay that price. And if it's still getting booked, that means that you're still too cheap. You should know where you're at and, and what's the most you could do. I'm not saying like overcharge and, and because then you're going to lose your clients. You're going to blame it on just, just your lead from YouTube, from Instagram. So I'm going to raise some of my price. So I'm going to do it. Do it until the point that you know you still be good, but you're still progressing. You have to get them used to these increases, right? Um, education too. Go to seminars. Like a lot of the clients like to see that you're investing your into yourself, you're you you're getting educated and you're you're upgrading your equipment as well. And and now the equipment that you're using is irritating their skin. Nobody nobody likes to go home with a a, a red line in their neck or a tattoo of, of their lining because your trippers were your trimmers were tripping and they were too sharp. So beware of that. Did I mention the cleaning, the, having your station clean? Make sure you clean that station. Your barber side is all the way up. And if your, your clients don't know about stuff like that, educate them. Educate them with uh, being sanitary. I'm not saying bash anybody else. Just inform them 
when they go somewhere else because you don't ever want to get upset when they do if anything if you're to book encourage it or present them to another barber in the shop what <coughs> excuse me what they need to look for thank corona it's hitting me uh what they need to look for right um uh, another one is when they're not doing something wrong with their hair also you need to direct them with the right products and the the right strategies to be able to get them where they need to be so educating your customers is, is a big one uh, um, also with the hairstyles like suggesting a hairstyle that you feel would look better with them um just just overall dude just keep it moving keep growing keep educating keep um pushing on social media i right? use all the platforms youtube right here youtube is free use it there's so many videos so much education out there for free now take advantage i know there's a lot of barbers out there who uh charge for their courses that i, I haven't took one personally but i'm pretty i'm pretty sure they're uh they're providing value but there's also value for free out there so thank you guys for listening to me and uh hopefully i i helped you guys out and uh, you learned a thing or two and feel free to leave some comments down there we could always share information you might you guys might be able to tell me something i didn't know so i'm always open for ideas and i always want to grow as well because there's a lot more growth than where i'm at right now so i'm in the same situation as everybody else i'm just trying to i'm just trying to be a better man so thank you guys for watching subscribe to my channel if you like this video hit the thumbs up peace